Alrighty, what we've got today is this network switch that I got off of Facebook. This thing is seemingly dead. At least I can't get any activity out of it. It's it's alive in all respects, but I can't get it to route any network traffic. So we're gonna take it apart and have a look. And inside, uh, we have a Broadcom chip and quite a bit of little dust and no big bulgy bulgies on any capacitors. This thing was lit up and seemingly working, so I don't think we're gonna have a major power supply problem, but maybe clean this up before we do anything more. Okay, hooked up to my isolation transformer. It's alive and the fans roar, but everything is much, much, much cleaner. So we didn't make it any worse. It's still functional, but uh, I don't think it uh, links anything. So first comes first, we'll measure some voltages and then we'll take a closer look at some things. Alrighty, we've got some success. I just had to turn this off because these fans are crazy loud, but this is what I'm expecting as a NAND chip of some form over here, and what is living right beside it sure appears to be a JTAG port of some form. This one doesn't seem to be terminated, but this one on power up, we get this kind of behavior. So uh, we're getting data. These two pins on the left here on the top side are the ones that are feeding data through. Uh, I just have to power cycle it and it barfs out a whole bunch of what looks like serial data. I think we can work with that. I think we can interface. I don't know whether we're gonna be able to fix it or what's wrong with it, but I would like to interface to that connection, whether it be JTAG or serial or whatever, and see what this thing has to say. Maybe we can at least run a factory reset on it. So since we have data flowing, we could just solder a socket right onto this thing. This is a standard JTAG style socket. I really don't wanna take this out of the case, so I think I'm just gonna tack on some wires. What I will do, I think, is just make a connector. I'm gonna take a piece of ribbon and I'm gonna make a connector that plugs on to our tool and then I can solder the ribbon to the board. Eric from the future here. I think it's important that we discuss some of the equipment that we may play with today. This is the Probe Master. This is my very own homebrew solution for teeing into boards and tying into components under test, allowing us to manipulate them and put other components in line. This is the JTagulator. We'll be using this today. This board allows us to just hook up all the wiring and then determine what's talking, whether it be a JTag interface or a UART interface, and then speak to to it directly. Once we know what the connections are, we can use a board like the Bus Pirate from Dangerous Prototypes to speak JTAG or SPI or I squared C directly to the board over USB. We may also use various other programmers, JTAG interfaces like the Scilabs and other USB ones. And then we definitely will be using the USB logic analyzer today. This allows us to see logic level signals on the computer and dump a raw logic level dump out to Excel files or various other forms. Pretty impressive little piece of kit for under 10 bucks. It's important to note, you can have these boards created yourself. You don't have to buy them complete. You can download their files open source from their GitHub repositories and then have a company like PCBWay manufacture them for you. You just download the Gerber file, send them off to PCBWay and for $5, you can get yourself 10 boards. Pretty handy to make custom solutions like I have here with Probe Master, or you can go ahead and buy a kit from my store for the Probe Master. This is my own design, so I'm able to sell kits. Okay. 
We'll get you kind of fiddly stuff, but we're soldered on and we've got our own pigtail made here and we'll see if this thing can talk to us. It spoke, it spoke, it spoke. It's talking. Hello, 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 my friend. I just power cycled it and it started yakking away. Check this out. This is a constant TX. I'll power cycle it again. I know it's noisy in here. And then boom, yup, yup, yup. Hello. Pin seven, my friend. I believe you are trying to speak to me. So despite my best efforts here, the JTAGulator has struck out. We're not getting anything uh, for UARTS, which is our serial comm, and we're not getting anything for JTAG. I would have thought for sure this is a JTAG port, but it occurred to me that we skipped a step. We were using the oscilloscope and we saw what looks like serial comm. We skipped right to here, but I didn't verify my connections here are all working, so I think I think we'll go ahead and try a logic analyzer. For that, we got just one of these super cheapies that we can plug right into our same cable. And let's see what the pins do. Alrighty, we're hooked up. And since this talks uh, primarily on startup is where we're seeing the calm, we're seeing it puke out some serial data, I'm gonna go ahead and reset it while you're watching here. And we'll start it back up and then we'll hit capture real fast. And what do you know about that? We've got data. That is something talking. What do you say? We're attempting to. Let's try another capture. That is, it almost looks like a clock at the top. It's something very fast. But that, yeah, that's bursts of data. I don't know what it's saying, but the JTAGulator can't figure it out. And I may uh, put a dump of this on a gist, and if anybody's really interested, they can take a look at it. Um, maybe you've dealt with one of these, but uh, I think I am going to disconnect here, maybe call it for now. I might leave my JTAG hooked up, but uh, yeah, I need to think on this. And uh, this has already gone on long enough. I have uh, other projects to do, but I did learn a lot. We got the JTAGulator working. We were able to scan for serial, scan for JTAG. I was able to use the lab scope. This is the Sele and it's working just fine. And that's pretty cool. That's pretty good for a day's play. Well, I can't explain it, but uh, plugged in, hooked up to my LAN. Uh, it is fully functional, um, other than couldn't find a result for that. We're online, this is working. Um, post a comment down below if you know what, uh, what happened and what we did to kick it into gear, but we are happily alive and talking. Everything is just fine and dandy. We'll put it under test and see if it quits again, but for now, 
Let's call it a win. If nothing else, I got myself a handy cable made for my next JTAG operation and learned a little bit of how things work and got to play with the JTAGulator. This is a fun tool. If you want to see more of this, let me know in the comments down below. We can do a dedicated video to that if you guys want. Cool stuff. Fun day. T-800 approves.